created by Erna Phillips. Come in. This is your first time here, isn't it? Yes, it is, Dr. Keeler. I don't know why I phoned you and wanted to talk to you. Maybe it's because you married Dick and me. Maybe it's because you're a minister. Well, that's a good enough reason, don't you think? Yes, I suppose it is. Then I, I, I've heard so many people say that you're not just a minister, but a friend. Sit down, child. Thank you. Dr. Keeler, I didn't come here to confess anything. I haven't anything to confess, really. Whatever there is to know about me has already been in all the newspapers. Except one thing. Dr. Keeler, what do you do when a man is still your husband? Only because of a sense of duty. You know, Kathy, I remember thinking the day of your wedding, here are two young people who are really meant for each other. Yes, I... I thought that too. But after all that's happened, I can't expect Dick to feel the same way about me as he did when we were married. I, I was a pretty frantic girl. You were afraid of losing the man you loved very much. Yes. And as you know, I lied. I lied about everything. I told Dick that he could have a divorce whenever he wanted it. Of course, he could get it without even trying. I think I want a divorce, too. And I want him to want a divorce. Why, Kathy? Because I... I know that someday I'm going to have to tell him that he's not the father of the baby I'm going to have. And that'll be the end. I don't want to have to tell him that. I, I, I'd rather he'd go his way and I'd go mine right now. Dr. Keeler, I... I didn't have anything to do with Bob Lang's death. I mean, directly. I think my life and Bob's well, we'd most likely be together today if I hadn't asked him for a divorce that night. So in a way, I, I feel I am responsible for what happened. And now, I'm going to make up to my baby what I did to his father. No one will ever understand it, will they? I think I do. Kathy, aren't you going overboard in your feeling of guilt? What happened, happened. There's nothing you can do about that now. Now, it seems to me there's only one course open to you, to prove that you can be a fine wife, a good mother. You, you love Dick. Oh, yes, but my baby. No one knows what, what the baby's come to mean to me. How I, I'm waiting for the day when I can devote myself to... Make a martyr of yourself, Kathy? Is that what you think I'm doing, Dr. Keeler? Kathy, you think about it. I don't think that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to be fair to, to Dick and... To give to the child the love you should have given to his father? In a way. You can't do that, Kathy. You can't give your baby the love that you should have given Bob Lang. These two things aren't compatible. I thought you'd understand. I was so sure you would. 
So sure. We'll learn more about this in a moment. Mm -hmm. 